in a variety of challenging and complex projects in some of the world's harshest environments, Fluor Offshore Solutions has demonstrated that it has the capability to deliver reliable, high-quality results. It's a new name, but the company builds on an outstanding record of service to the energy industry. Fluor has worked on every major type of offshore facility, including some of the largest, most innovative and successful projects in the offshore oil and gas industry. Our experience encompasses subsea equipment, risers and umbilicals, as well as floating and fixed facilities. Our projects have also included some of the largest FPSOs in the world, installed in challenging environments such as the North Sea, West Africa, Western Australia and China. We've managed the full range of field development activities, including fabrication, installation, hookup, commissioning, operations and maintenance. We have a fabrication yard in Tampico, Mexico, which is highly respected in the local market. The yard has completed 13 platform projects in the last four years. These add up to a total weight of more than 50,000 metric tons. With offices in 25 countries across six continents, we have exceptional global reach. Alongside our core offshore team in Houston, we have local engineer centers in Manila, Shanghai, Trinidad and Lagos. This ensures that our engineering can take place in regions near significant oil and gas reserves and that the work is cost effective. Bohai Bay is the largest offshore development in China and at its heart will be the biggest FPSO ever built. Fluor have played a major role in the design and construction of this FPSO as well as six wellhead platforms and associated pipelines. It's a massive project and one of the main challenges has been to maintain consistent standards of operational excellence across a range of work fronts. The further the field was developed, the more complicated the project became. So there were a lot of challenges to overcome, both from an operational and an engineering point of view. At peak, uh, we needed uh, over 650 engineers and designers. So we engaged our Manila office as well as our Shanghai office and the teams in uh, Fleur Houston and Manila in Shanghai did an outstanding job. Fleur and the client came together as one team and shared both their engineering and operations experience. This collaborative approach resulted in a successful project execution. Fabrication was done in seven different yards. The hull was being engineered in China. The mooring tower was being engineered in Holland. Therefore, there were a lot of uh, interface uh, challenges. So far, two wellhead platforms are online and there have been very few problems with the startup. Five hundred miles northwest of Darwin lies the Bayou Undan gas recycling facility. It's one of the most complex liquid stripping installations ever completed offshore. By any measure, the Bayou Undan project is massive in scale and at the time it was the largest offshore development of its type under construction. Fluor's global resources were invaluable to the project, particularly from a process and an engineering perspective, given the complexity of, of the process. There were many challenges. The time scale, it was a very tight four-year schedule, very tight budget. In spite of all the technical and logistical challenges, Bayou Undan received its first condensate in January 2004 right on time. By the end of the year, the facility was fully operational. The Fleur team was delighted to receive another accolade in the form of an Australian Engineering Award. But as always, the key measure of success is customer satisfaction and a facility that runs reliably, efficiently and safely. The Poinsettia development is off the northwest coast of Trinidad in more than 500 feet of water. When it's complete, it'll be the largest oil and gas facility ever installed in these seas. Developers BG asked Fleur to provide a range of services on the 4,000 tonne top sides. The front end engineering and design effort was done in Trinidad in our Port of Spain office. In the past, Port of Spain has done some detail work, but they've never done the conceptual and the front end work. 
Floor Offshore Solutions has developed a solid group of Trinidad and Tobago nationals skilled in engineering offshore facilities. They're bright and they've, they've caught on quickly and, and now they're an important part of our team. The engineers from Trinidad and Tobago work closely with BG. Their work included setting the parameters, sizing the equipment, determining the layout and size of the structures, and defining the requirements for unmanned operation. Fleur worked closely with a local fabricator from Trinidad and Tobago for the fabrication of the top sides. The platforms that Fleur has designed and managed are significantly smaller. They're somewhere around, the top size is somewhere around 1,000 tons. Ours is 4,000 tons. Also, the jacket that's being fabricated in Morgan City by McDermott is 530 feet, which is more than double the depth or the size of the jacket on the past projects. So this is a stepping stone. This is a step up for Trinidad.